afternoon baseball now and a fine Sunday for our national pastime from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Today it's the rubber match of this three-game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Gary Sanchez. With the season winding to a close, the AL's leading hitter makes his case for a batting crown. Next. Luis Severino, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. Digging in, Tim Beckham. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch on its way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty V. And you know one thing you don't want to do here, d -Row? You've been on some good teams. Not to lose focus at this point of the year to keep the big picture in sight because there is a postseason lurking, and it's so easy to get ahead of yourselves and not take the rest of the schedule serious. I think the nice thing for this team is that they won the division. They will for whatever happens get a five game series it's not that one game wild card winner go home this team can prepare themselves to battle and try and win three out of five count is one and two now great afternoon for baseball here 71 degrees the temperature at first pitch the one two is a wave and a miss he struck him out and now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matt, you take a look at this lineup, and they're frustrating to watch at times because they ground into the most double plays in the league. You want to talk about a pitcher's best friend. You finally get a guy on first base, and you're coming unglued first pitch down below the knees, grounding into a double play and bailing everybody out. I need better approaches out of this lineup today. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Boy, he center cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location no matter how hard you're throwing. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. On to first, and there are two down. Stepping up now, Manny Machado. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. 46 now for him on the season. As the O's are on the board first, it's one to nothing. I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater, and it cost him big time. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini, looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a knee high fastball. Hey, I love the location right there. Maybe that extra base hit was a big wake up call to get it going. Yeah. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Hit hard 
towards center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So that'll extend the inning and give Adam Jones a chance. Boy, that's a crazy at bat right there. Takes two pitches, two quality pitches, then gets the third one, and he gets a bullet for a single. I can't tell you how good that feels as a former hitter right there. 0-2, oh, you're pretty much dead to rights, and he comes through with a big knock. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. Swing, high drive, left field, and deep. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Comes set with the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Grounded to third. Andujar's got it. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. A real strike for one on the home run by Machado. Bottom of the first coming up from the Bronx. And it's now 1-0 Baltimore. Kevin Gossman. Starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little Maybe bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. Standing in, Ivan Jimenez. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Popped him up. Machado is there. One down. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton really having a solid season. He's got over 100 RBIs on the year, and he's just flat out taking care of business this season. Don't be surprised if he ends up being a difference maker in this one, too. Now with the plate, Aaron Judge. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. First delivery to him on the way. Zero. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, Matty, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats, and it's working for them. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. In now, Aaron Hicks. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. His career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He's got five base hits in 27 at bats. The 1 0 home. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the second inning now from Yankee Stadium. The O's lead this thing one to nothing. Here's Jonathan Scope now to check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. He 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. And it's 0-2 to scope. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And let's focus on John Carlos Stanton right now. Looks like he's chiseled out of stone out there. The outfielder, I know he has light tower power, but he's also helpful on the defensive side and possesses a strong arm in the outfield. Stepping into the box, Chris Davis. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. That's okay. And this one runs up high, ball one. One and one, the count to Chris Davis. The one one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Orioles out to an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Danny Valencia. Lays off 1 0. Previous history with Luis Severino, just a 1 for 9. Fastball that finds the outside corner. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. and deep to right center. Judge is on his horse. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Giancarlo Stanton now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. First delivery to him on the way. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Oh, wow. That's what they call a jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 2. Really tied him up on that one. Yeah, clearly didn't recognize where that was going to end up, Matt. If I were pitching, I might go right back in there. Rip down the line, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Stanton is retired, and there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And let's take a look at Jonathan Scope, another one of the versatile 
new regime ball players ability to play second base turn a double play at six foot two 200 plus pounds and move over to third base with a rocket arm standing in Gary Sanchez and he comes in as a player to watch out for hitting well over 300 on the season infield in the overshift here now the pitch check swing but he held up in time ball one one out nobody on Who pulled the string and had him way out in front a ball and a strike a one one sinks below the knees taken for a ball. Popped him up. Scope over to his left. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting fifth. Second baseman. Brandon. Brandon Brody will bat next. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey, I love that pitch right there, and that's where he's going to have to work. He's going to have to work down in his own. This is a hitter's park. We all know the ball flies, and if he's going to keep the ball in the yard, he's got to execute down to the hollow of the knee. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And Scope will settle under it to make the play, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail this one, one to nothing. Stunning Central Park here on a beautiful day in the Big Apple. Welcome back to baseball from Yankee Stadium. Ready now for Baltimore, Caleb Joseph. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Bird trying to get there. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Swing and a miss at a ball well off the plate. A swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Standing in now, Tim Beckham. Hit hard to the right. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A bouncer to the left side. Polanco comes up with it. Throw to first takes care of Beckham for the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Shin Su Chu. Now at the plate, Shin Su Chu. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Fastball called strike. One and two. Popped him up. 
Sanchez moving to his left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles, but they're up one to nothing. Here's Miguel Andohar now. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit the other way out toward right field. Chu has a read on it. Makes the play one away. In now, Greg Bird. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. One pitch is a splitter swung on and missed two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he chased it in the dirt. Joseph corrals it. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also, credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Stepping in now, Jorge Polanco. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here comes the 0-1. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Into the second deck and gone. A solo home run for Jorge Polanco. Fourth home run for him on the season, and the Yankees have run even now at one apiece. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. In now, Ivan Jimenez. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Mancini sprinting after it. But it's over his head, and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that was going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. Here's big Aaron Judge. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Fastball down near the shoe tops. The one one. Taken in strike two. Jimenez at second with two down.
Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Here's Manny Machado now. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1-0. Finds the zone, strike one. And he misses two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. The three and one pitch. Hit on the ground is short. Polanco is up with it. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The batter, left fielder, Trey. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Trey Mancini, one for one after a single this first time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Called strike over the outside corner. Hey, that's another nice two-seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A high fastball is in there. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. This is line to left. Stanton is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Into the box now, Adam Jones. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And another foul ball. The pitch. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three in it? He most certainly does. Ten straight he's retired now as that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. One, one. Settling in now, Aaron Hicks. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Two balls and two strikes to Hicks now. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. 
This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 14 on the season. And the Yankees take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. How about it? Giancarlo Stanton now. Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2 0. 3 0 now. Now the 3-0 offering yeah. is looked at for the first strike. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat. Lying toward the gap in left center. Jones makes the catch, and now they might be able to double them off at first. On to first, and they get the double play. How about it? Into the box, Second Brendan Drury. Brendan Drury. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Two runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Called strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. Splitter misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We played four, two to one, New York. Late. Jonathan Scope. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. First base for number 19, Chris a chance for last year's MVP runner-up with the bases empty and one away. Here's Chris Davis. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the move is Stanton. He's around first, heading for two. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. Hit the ball where it's pitched. And he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely. And it bounces over for a ground rule double. Standing in now, Danny Valencia. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Valencia hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. Into the box, Caleb Joseph as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Hey, sometimes you need a little bit of luck, too, as a pitcher. This ball absolutely scorched. Actually hit so hard that it wasn't able to drive a run in. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I know that ball was hit on the line. Surprised the third base coach held him with two outs. Tim Beckham is at the plate as he watches ball one. The 1-0. -oh. This fastball taken high for a ball great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive you can pretty much count on a pitcher he's trying to get back in the strike zone and with two guys on base right here it's time to grip it and rip it down the third baseline but a foul ball and it's two and one now set to deliver on two and one but a big pass at a slider that gets past him fifth inning two to one our score And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. And he misses nope. with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Shinsu Chu at the plate now, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch on its way. There's a strike. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. One out away from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. Now the 2-1 pitch. 
is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Orioles leave him loaded. Our score remains 2-1. Here's Miguel Andohar now as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the pitch. A ball of no strikes. Grounded to short. Machado has it. And a rather easy first out. First baseman number 33, Greg Bird. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Wind up the 2-0 pitch. Two balls and a strike now. One out, nobody on. And it misses three and one now. Three and one pitch. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. When you get yourself to a three-one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. That one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Into the box now, Jorge Polanco. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice. Stepping in now, Ivan Jimenez. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right. So he's 90 feet away now with two men gone. Here's big Aaron Judd. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Hits are now even at four apiece. A 
A ball and a strike now. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. Oh, and he misses it. The relay throw. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. So two runs on just one base hit, one error in the inning, and no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Yankees four, and the Orioles one. Manny Machado will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, five hitters to start out an inning, but even more so when the three hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. Trey Mancini is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Two and zero oh to the Baltimore left fielder. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Two and one now. Machado stands at second with no outs. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that will be ruled a strike. Here now the 2-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. Swing and a line drive. Foul. No hits to this point. Ready with the 0-1. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh, 1 out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. He pulls into second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. 
Well, the beat goes on with this guy. Runner in scoring position. No doubt when he comes up, he's thinking RBI. What does he do? Double the drive and another run. This guy is a money, money run producer. Here's Chris Davis now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles first baseman. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there, that backdoor slider. That's a very difficult pitch to throw, and particularly throw for a strike. Just missed that outside corner right there, but a good pitch and a tough take there by the hitter. And it's fouled away. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. This is pulled into right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Orioles get a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. The Yankees four, and the Orioles two. So striding forward now, Aaron Hicks comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Aaron Hicks. First pitch of the at-bat. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. What a well-executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside his zone. The pitch. Oh, and he's got to be more disciplined yeah. here. It's 0-2. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now batting, left fielder, John Carlos Stanton. So here's the cleanup hitter, John Carlos Stanton. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Here's the 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. And he comes back with a fastball, 1 and 2 now. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far.
And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. The wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they still lead this one four to two. Back here in the Bronx, Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh. But before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. You're Benito Velez is on the pitch from the, the bullpen Yankees. now to start inning number, number seven. 21, Benito Velez. Digging in once again, Danny Valencia. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Sent on the ground out to second. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Ready now, Caleb Joseph. One for two on his line so far in the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. And a swing and a miss here. So it's a quick two outs to start the seven. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. Standing in now, Tim Beckham. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Tim Beckham. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Down low and the plot thickens here. 3-0. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And they'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. This one's flared off to the right side. Judge is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail it here, four to two. Yefri Ramirez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Brandon Drury will bat next. He went down on strikes last time up. Second baseman, 
Brandon Drury. First offering on its way. And a neck high fastball that time. Breaking ball in for a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Into the box, Miguel Andujar, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Ramirez, just 24 years of age. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Left side. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Boy, D-Roll, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. Jose Reyes will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 14, Jose Reyes. Jace Peterson will come on now and pinch run here. Jace Peterson. left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now and he fouls this one off 0 for 1 for him here in this one a ball and a strike now to Bird tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there Good job by the batter to take that pitch. Work the count even. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. The 2-1 home. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Coming in is Jones. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So stepping in, Jorge Polanco. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Oh, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. From the stretch, here's the pitch. 
a little bouncer. A one count. Here's the pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here's the one and one pitch. Very weakly on the ground. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. In the dirt. And the throw is behind him at third as this gets away. Throw won't get him. And he is safe at the plate as he wasn't able to recover in time. That was just great awareness out there on the base pass. He bolts for third the instant the ball skips away, but he keeps his eye behind the plate all the way. And when he sees they're having trouble with it, he rockets home to score. Love that aggressiveness. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner into right center. That's going to be a base hit. And the score is the runner from third, and that will stretch the lead to four now. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead, and then your offense gets it to four, and you know that same situation's gone out the window. Don't tell me that, dude. Oh, it does hurt oh, you. Oh, oh, it does because, <laughs> Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a save situation. You sit and watch eight innings yep. of baseball, you get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save, and all of a sudden you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Polanco, base runner at first with one out. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. The three one. And this is with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Here's big Aaron Judd. First pitch of the at bat. Tried to check it in its own one. Winging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. The 0-2 home. Still no balls and two strikes. First and second now, one man out. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here's the one and two. Missed with the breaking ball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. The 
2 2. It was laid off, and the count runs full. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He's set. Here's the 3-2. and two. Count still full, 3-2. and two. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. Three-run home run down the line in right. Home run number 59 on the season, as this is now a seven-run ball game. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Now batting. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. Now here it comes. Oh. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Still one and two. The one two misses ball two. Well this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done though. Still only one out in the inning. That's lifted the other way out to left. Mancini moves over. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder, John Carlos Stanton. Stepping up to the plate, John Carlos Stanton. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Up around the face. Fastball right down the middle for a strike. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back see the ball a little bit deeper and be willing to work deep into the count. The one two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time. But not before five crossed the plate with the big blow being this three run home run. We're through seven this afternoon. It's the Yankees nine and the Orioles two. Jose Reyes is going to go ahead and stay in the ballgame and play third now. 
Now playing third base. Number 14, Jace Peterson, who will stay in the ballgame now as he now comes on to play second here. James Peterson. A.J. Cole has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Jacoby Ellsbury is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. Now playing left field, number 22, Jacoby Ellsbury. Abisail Garcia is into the ball game as well as he takes over out in right. Garcia. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one just missed outside. Lifted down the line in left. And no one will track it down. Now the one and one pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Digging in and looking for more, Manny Machado. He's two for three with a home run and a double. First delivery to him on the way. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Ground ball left side, defense set up perfectly. Throw in time at first for route number two. How about it? Left fielder. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And, hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. And it's fouled away. Ready with the 0-2. Missed with a slider. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non-competitive pitch and allow these guys to take. He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. Swing and a ground ball to third. The next one-two pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down by a touchdown. It's nine to two. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Hard hit towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So it goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting from him. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? 
Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone, but maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back, and the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. In now, Jose Reyes. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Nope. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. Late on that one as it's foul off to the left side. On the ground to the left side. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. On to the third baseman, but it's off the mark. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old school, new school. I think I kind of stand right along that fence. The one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. Henley Ramirez will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. The one one is a fastball thrown by him for a strike. Sanchez on second. Reyes is over at first with one away. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Kyle Higashioka will come on now to replace him as he's into pinch run following the injury. Two-two pitch just missed. Jorge Polanco is on deck. Runners are at first and second with one away. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. The batter, number 11, shortstop... Jorge now with the play, Jorge Polanco. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is taken outside for ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Polanco is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. The 1 0 delivery. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Second and third, two away. Now 
outside. 3-0 and oh now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. The 3-0 pitch. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, that 3-0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. The 3-1. Pops this one up. And that'll get down for a base hit. And the second run will score as well. Boy, talk about having a day, Debo. He gets his fourth knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round tripper. Not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Standing in now, Ivan Jimenez fouled off. Comes set and the 0-1 fouled away. A runner on first with two away. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left on. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Yankees 11 and the Orioles 2. Henley Ramirez will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first base, number 13. Kyle Higashioka will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Josh Tomlin comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Tomlin! Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's the first pitch to him. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. One oh home is a fastball looked at for a strike. A little bit outside, two and one. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here now the 2-2. Sent on the ground out to second. Peterson fields it cleanly. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The second base, number six, Jonathan Stone. Here's Jonathan Scope now. His history with Josh Tomlin. A number of meetings. He's one for seven. Here comes the first pitch. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's one and oh. One out. Nobody on. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one.
swing and a line drive. But this will be foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. He stays alive, still two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's Chris Davis now. A ball of no strikes. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. A ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Ramirez charging this one. Throw on to first, and the Yankees have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but... Uh, Paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? 11-2 is the way this ballgame ends. The New York Yankees with their 105th win best in the division. Luis Severino records win number 16 on the season. Kevin Gossman pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Yankees. 11 runs on 11 hits. No errors. The left four men on base. For the Orioles, two runs, six hits, two errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 53,321. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.